You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News at 8. Well, the most expensive home in La Jolla, and that's saying a lot, is now off the market after selling for nearly $25 million. Heather Lake, <laughs> Heather Lake is live this morning with the realtor who closed that deal. What's the commission on that, Heather? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I said, so do you work the rest of the year? Or do you just take it off? You're like, ah, I made all my money in January and now I'm done. Uh, just, to, you know, kick your feet up and do your thing. Actually, in fact, he sold another home as well. The one that we are going to show you today that is pretty fantastic. And it's, uh, you know, sold for a mere $20 million. You know, that's my cutoff, right? Is that what it is? So Brett Dickinson, yeah, what do you do? What's the commission on the house that you've sold? What was it, almost $25 million down well, the street? commissions are actually between uh, the buyers and, uh, I mean, the sellers and the client. Uh, a commission on a property like this is about a half a million dollars. That's not a, that's a good year. Yeah, that's a good year. So uh, tell me a little bit about the house that we're going through today. You said I got to show you this one listing. It's beautiful, but this one already sold too. For how much? This one sold for 20 million, and it actually sold just the other day. This is located in the you know the gorgeous Bird Rock waterfront. It's the really the new street of dreams of La Jolla. Okay. And it was built by um, Blue Heron, which is a spectacular design builder out of Las Vegas, and they specialize in contemporary design, biophilic design, uh, and a 360 degree experience. Yeah, I mean, everything is bells and whistles. Let's go on the experience, let's walk let's and talk. We're on um, the second level, which looks like the first level, but then all of a sudden you're walking on this floating kind of walkway here, and um, there's all kinds of really cool areas below, ponds and streams and waterfalls. I'm kind of, you know, taking a 360 view while I talk to you because I'm like, wait, what am I gonna see next? So you tell everyone when you take them to this property, this is the best spot. So what we try to do when we show a property is get them to what we call um, the love spot, the where they're going to really fall in wow. love with the property and the location. And what Blue Heron does so incredibly well is how they site their properties. Okay. And this is so unique because the sighting is a southwesterly view where you see across the wave and you're able to see the back of the wave, which is, is really incredible. unusual. Yeah, so I just, I, I would have to tell you, I've been in several mansions in San Diego. Now, I am one of the only reporters who was inside the Razor House before Alicia Keys bought it over in um, La Jolla, kind of on the La Jolla Farms Road. Exactly. And it's pretty cool. And Zach, follow us inside. We're going to show you a different view as well as you c come on into my kitchen and living room. <laughs> I mean, some of these places are just amazing. So talk a little bit about this space in here. Obviously, there's a couple of um, pieces, like electronic pieces that are kind of the cell point so several of the things that are amazing about this property is you have a warm contemporary design yet you have phenomenal automation and one of the things that buyers love is they love simplicity at this this level the standard of home and there's so much automation in this in this property it's it's incredible for example I feel like I'm on an episode of cribs right now like are you kidding me with this place all of a sudden you're just sitting here and you're like oh open the windows open the doors kick your feet up how many bedrooms and bathrooms does this place have so this is uh four and a half uh baths and it's four bedrooms it has a yoga room uh, a beautiful two-car garage but really what's spectacular about this property is the incredible rooftop deck who is who are buying houses right now who's who bought this house so this pro this buyer came from central valley or northern california What's happening right now is there's a huge migration of people out of San Francisco, out of Los Angeles, because San Diego is really the place to be. I mean, how do you beat this? We have these open spreads are actually, we're actually a good deal for buyers from those neighborhoods. Well, do you think areas. that because they're figuring out how to work from home, they can secretly work a lot further away from where their corporate headquarters was initially? You, you hit the nail on the head. What's happening is everybody wants a place where you can have office space, you can have quality of life, you can go to the beaches, you can do all the things that you can't necessarily do in the cities they live in, and San Diego has that, off, uh, that to offer. Well, I have to say, um, I've been working remotely this whole entire time, so <laughs> whoever the buyer is, if you'd like to share, um, I don't know if he has a name, you're allowed to share, I'm gonna share his spot right here. I've got my laptop in the car, Raul, um, there's a spot for you. Okay. Sholly, you can be down here, Wait, and um, we'll just start doing our show from, from his water. backyard. Does that convey? Does that... 
So okay. actually, the whole idea of wait, this, hold on, what, what, what now? <laughs> so uh, I was saying the whole idea convey. and the yeah, creator of this it. property um, is to the fact that you can sit here, see the fire, see the water. He used to love to go. Uh, to the mountains. Wait, are you allowed to share? Are you allowed to share who I'm it is? No, I can't share the name. I know you've signed a lot of documents. I have a, an NDA. I cannot. Oh. NDA. No. Look at these people. Come on. Who are these Come people? On. The guy from the NBA bought it? What? A basketball player? Life is good on the Bird Rock waterfront. You know. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking back there. Oh, got it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My wife would say, eh, it's too uh, overcast on the coast all the time. Eh, the ocean at night's too dark and black. I don't like it. Eh, the yard's not big enough. <laughs> You're in luck then. Yeah, aren't I though? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Heather? Wow, I mean, that place is gorgeous. Good for that guy. And I think he just texted that real estate agent guy and said, get off my backyard lounge chair. Because <laughs> it does convey, yeah. and now it's his. So uh, there you go. One day, maybe, no. <laughs> Did you me? <laughs> no, not you. Like, I mean, you know, it's not his fault. He didn't have a microphone earpiece thing, so he didn't know that we were having a conversation. So he's like, this is a wonderful home with the backyard views for miles. <laughs> What does he care? That's going to have to work the rest of the year. That's true. Day 36, the late night hosts say goodbye to President Trump and a star studded inaugural inauguration special. Oh, KTLA Sam Rubin, live in Los Angeles. I think I heard the fireworks here.